How's it going YouTube? Back with another sugar free review of the Spyderco Max 2 Lightweight. Of course the same old Spyderco box. You get a sticker and if it's not stainless you get this to keep it from rusting and a warning. And as you see Blade HQ exclusive. As you can see, I kind of have a problem with buying Manix. I've got all these in the past year. One G10, Knife Jewel exclusive. One White, GP Knife's exclusive. One Burgundy, St. Nick's Knife's exclusive. And of course, here's the one we're talking about today the Blade HQ exclusive. So this is a $135 and at the time of recording this it is still in stock and when I made all these other videos I kind of thought it was pointless making a Manix video but as I've come to realize there's still a lot of people that don't have this knife or any version of it so I'm going to do a review and as of recently they now have scales aftermarket scales you can get for the lightweight You've always been able to get scales for the G10 model, but now you can for this. Which I'm not going to do, or I wouldn't be collecting all the colors. <laughs> Anyways, let's go over the specs. You got a 3.37 inch CPM M4 blade, um, DLC coating, flat grind, and uh, M4 is not stainless, of course, but it has. Really high edge retention. Um, I'd consider it pretty similar to Rex 45 and K390. And 4V isn't too far off either, it's just tougher. So, really, I didn't really need to get this, but don't need any of the knives I buy. So. Yeah, 3.2 millimeter blade stock or 0.125 inches. Now let's see how it cuts. Super, super sharp. This actually got a 35 on my best tester, which is the sharpest factory edge I've ever tested. That's mainly because of their really low edge angle. Looks like it's lower than 15 degrees, if I had to guess. But they do a good job on their sharpening. This knife is eight inches overall, so full size. Um, let's compare it to some other knives. I just got out three. Spyderco Pair 3, lightweight. And Spyderco PM2. Definitely bigger than the Pair 3, but a little bit smaller than the Pair Paramilitary 2. And the Kunmu Padre since I got it out. Just about the same length. The sticker also came with it, which makes no sense. Uh, got a 4.66 inch handle, 0.45 inches wide. The clothes width in the pocket from here to here is 1.71 inches. T8 on your screws. Except for your pivot, it should be a T10. Check on that. Yes, it is a T10. You got a weight of 2.95 ounces. Very lightweight because the FRN. Much lighter than the G10 version. You have a reversible wire clip and the 
G10 version does not come with a wire clip. This is aftermarket, but it doesn't come with one. Works pretty well. I know a lot of people put winch clips on them. But I'm fine with it. And this is a mint green FRN that Blade HQ uses on a lot of their stuff. I like this color the best, I think, of the Model 4 Max. And the Max is special because it's got the ball bearing lock. Similar in the way it works to an axis lock, but completely different made. As you can see, there's a spring in there and there's a ball bearing. So for anyone that doesn't have this and have used the axis lock, crossbar lock, it works similar, but it's usually a little bit stronger. And their deployment options, of course, your spotty hole. And your ball bearing lock. You kind of got a full length backspacer made in. Kind of, sort of. So not a lot of dirt's going to get on the inside. If you're keeping these scales, at least. And you do have your lanyard hole. And Spyderco doesn't do a lot of sharpening chills on all of their knives. You can sharpen all the way up to the edge, but it's definitely not as easy as having a sharpening chill. Especially when you have a coating, you got to sharpen outwards. And try not to scratch it all up. Yeah, I've done it. I'm not the best at it, but yeah. Um, dislikes, I don't really have any. I know for most people it's the FRN. has a lot of texture, and of course it's cheap. But a lot of companies don't use this stuff, so I'm alright as long as everyone don't start using it. It's good material for work, I'd say. Yeah, I love that it's USA made. Didn't mention that. Yeah, I will link this knife down below if you want to pick one up. They're still in stock at least. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a like and a comment and see you in the next one.